Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to hear a story from our absolutely true Bible. Can you say that with me? Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. Our hands we fold, our head we bow, so we can talk to God right now. Dear Sovereign God, thank you for each boy and girl here today. Thank you for the story that we are going to hear from your absolutely true Bible. Please open our hearts so that we can trust in Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let it be so. Did you hear that? What kind of animal do you think that is? That's right. It's a horse. Today, in our story from the book of Revelation, we are going to learn about four horses that John saw when he was with Jesus. Let's listen to our story to learn that only Jesus can save us from sin. In the book of Revelation, Jesus shows John some of God's plan to stop sin and evil. What is sin? That's a great question. Sin is disobeying God. Sin is doing what we want to do instead of what God wants us to do. But God has a plan to stop sin and evil, and nothing can stop God's plan. John saw Jesus with a scroll. A scroll is a piece of paper that has writing on the inside. And then it's wrapped up like a tube. To keep it tight, a scroll has seals put on it. The scroll that Jesus had had seven seals. John saw Jesus open the first seal. And then he heard a loud voice. Then he saw a horse, a white horse. The rider on the white horse was given a crown. Then John saw Jesus open the second seal. Once again, John heard a loud voice and saw a red horse. The rider on the red horse was given a big sword. Jesus opened the third seal and John heard a loud voice again. And then he saw a black horse. The rider on the black horse had a pair of scales. Scales are used to see how much something weighs. Jesus opened the fourth seal and John heard a loud voice and saw a pale green horse. John saw four horses. These horses made John think of sad things. John thought of the sad things that happen when people do not love and obey God. When we do what we want instead of what God wants, we hurt people and God's world. But God loves people very much. And God has a plan to stop sin and evil. When we believe in Jesus, we do not have to be afraid of God's plan. God loves people so much that he sent Jesus to save us from our sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for my sin and for your sin. Jesus lived Jesus died, Jesus was buried, and came back to life. This was all a part of God's plan. When we believe in Jesus, Jesus saves us from sin. I am so happy that Jesus saves us from sin. I am so happy that nothing can stop God's plans. Our scripture verse for today comes from the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Here it is right here in my Bible. It says, whoever believes in him 
shall not perish, but have eternal life. This means that whoever believes in Jesus will live the wonderful life with God that lasts forever. This is great news, friends. Let's sing our scripture verse to if you're happy and you know it. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. Great job, boys and girls. You guys did such a good job listening. I have a few questions for you. What book is our absolutely true story from? That's right. Our story is from the Bible. Great job. Okay, how many horses did John see? Yes, John saw four horses. Great job, boys and girls. Okay, last one. Who saves us from sin? Yes, Jesus saves us from sin. Very good job, boys and girls. Let's sing praises to God because God is sovereign. God has a good plan and nothing can stop God's plan. The first song that we are going to sing is What is Sin? You guys heard in the story that sin is disobeying God. Okay, I'm going to use a shaker as my instrument. Feel free to grab an instrument for yourself. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is anything in thought, word, or deed that is contrary to the will of God. God's plan is to stop sin and evil. Nothing can stop God's plan. Let's sing that one more time. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is anything in thought, word, or deed that is contrary to the will of God. God sent Jesus to save us from sin and all the bad things that happen because of sin. Okay, now let's sing, We Thank You, Loving Father. Jesus died on the cross to save me and you from sin. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us from sin. We thank you, loving Father, for all your love today, for sending Christ our Savior to take our sins away. Jesus is the only one who can save us from sin. Thank you, Jesus, for always loving us. We thank you, loving Father, for all your love today, for sending Christ our Savior to take our sins away. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. Bye.